life. Hugh Jackman, welcome to the Cricket Show. Thank you, mate. I think as far as my family is concerned, I've now made it. <laughs> well, cricket Show on Boxing Day is about it. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. X-Men, Les Mis, as of today, Cricket Show. Yeah. Geez, that reads well now, doesn't it? Yeah, let's put it all the way around. Let's put <laughs> Cricket Show first, mate. I don't mind. I'll give you top billing. <laughs> now, you did grow up loving it, didn't you, yeah, on playing? Yeah, yeah. Did it start in the backyard? Backyard, my brother Ian i never forget, Ian used to coach my brother Ralph and I, yeah. and I had a classic bent arm syndrome, so I got the old ruler <laughs> taped to my arm, so Fair I would walk can... around all day with a straight arm, uh, and he taught me how to play shots, although, weirdly, right cover shot and square cut was yeah. about 16 windows in our house, so yeah. it was a very high risk shot going yeah. for that, uh, yeah. so I was much stronger on my legs. On the onside, yeah. the backyard shaped a lot of players like that, I remember like my cover drive was at Fibro and the holes really? through it, so <laughs> the onside. That I'm was sure like, you were hitting them harder than me. So. And mate, how's the action these days, it's still a bit dodgy? You know, I, apparently when I bowl some spinners, <laughs> it's a little dodgy. I'm glad there were no slow-mo cameras when I was playing, you know. <laughs> yeah, Boxing Day, memories yeah. of Boxing Day? You know, it's actually, I'm a Sydney guy, um, so, and I used to come to the Sydney test, and I used to hunt out autographs the day before, uh, on January 1st, he was play second, so I, that, growing up, it was Sydney. Um, and apart from the centenary test, which my dad yeah. took me to, which I'll never forget, lately, the tradition has been the, uh, the test of the G, Boxing Day test, and yeah. I go, I bring my dad and my brother, we all do the breakfast, and we stay on, and it, it, to me, it's one of the great days in sport. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world. Yeah. So, yeah, I've probably now been five times, and they look after me well, and I have yeah. a, it's, it's just nothing like it, man. And what's the highlight from your cricketing career? Me as a player? You as a player. Uh, I managed to play on the MCG once. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I was invited, it was an invitational thing, Lord's Taverners were playing at the MCG, yeah, and so right. I got called in, and I remember striding out there, and I thought, okay, this is never gonna happen again. I'm here I am, <laughs> in the center, and my goodness, those boundaries, yeah, that's a long way, man, to smack that, and I was like, I've got to go for this. And this guy was trundling in, and looked really average, and just sort of tossing him up, and the first one, I, w I tried to smack it right over mid on, and I missed it, and absolutely was plumb in front and wasn't given. <laughs> so I thought, oh well, pl luck's on my side. So next one I tried to hit the same, and I got bowled. Yeah, yeah. But as I walked out, the guy said, me, "Don't worry, the Don, the Don did that a couple of times. Don't worry." So, but on still, the G, on the G. Out, well, I, rec I recall our coverage. I think it was tea time break two years ago. <laughs> you took on Warney in the net. Yes, yes. And in, for memory, six balls faced. It was four. Yep. One. Four, four, out. <laughs> Cop one down there, I believe, and then you finish with a six over long on. So it was about that fifth nine... ball. I will never forget. <laughs> Memo to self: Do not wear boxer shorts going to the to the Boxing Day test, just in case Warnie invites you down. No, there are a good reason you wear yeah, a jock it, strap. Yeah, my wife was like. It was embarrassing, Hugh. I, what were you doing down there? It was like you were fiddling the entire time. I said, it was the box. It was like behind my knee. It was on my left thigh. It was all over the shop. And just when I needed it, it was on the knee and not where it needed to be. But your face, Warney, I mean, he's, yeah. he's still doing it in the 2020 stuff. It's, uh, oh, he's mate, amazing. He's unbelievable. And a great guy. He's been a good mate to me. And I actually, after the cameras were right, I said, Warney, do me a favour. He goes, what? He goes, buy me a real one. Like, seriously, I want to know what it's really like. I didn't smell it. I think I missed it by about this far. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he was very kind of me. Just tossed him up to me. Have you got a favourite player? Like, I was Viv Richards in the backyard, did you? Love Viv. Yeah. Love Dennis Lilly. Yeah. I fancy myself as a bowler until I got a bad back. Yeah. Um, I used to love uh, Kim Hughes and yeah. Rick Darling. Yes. And uh, Hooksy and obviously the chapels, but my favorite of all time, Dougie Walters. Yeah. To me, he was, I just loved him, he was like that larrikin, and I remember watching him get that century in a session, and I yeah. remember that. Uh, yeah. he, was, he, was, he was one of the greats. Well, he had the aggression then that we see from most of the guys now, didn't he? Yeah. He was one of those players that changed the yeah. theme of the game very quickly. It's funny, you know, I talk to people all the time and, uh, you know, in showbiz and they, they ask me, say, oh, you've taken risks. And I said, what you don't understand is when you're Australian, you grow up and I used to come to the games all the time. I used to come to every day of it, every test match, right? Yeah. All day long, you're hearing people yell out, have a go, have a go, you muck. And it's not just <laughs> enough to win, it was more your attitude yeah. that people loved. And yes. I always say that's something great about Australia. It's 
you've got to play in the spirit of enjoying the game yeah. and taking a risk or two. And actually, it's if I look at all the Aussie actors, it's something we kind of have in common. Yeah. So sometimes I'll get a call and you know, my agent will be like, oh, I don't know, what do you think of this? And I'll just, in the back of my head, all I keep thinking of those guys on the hill have going, go. have a go, you we mug. Have a go. <laughs> I want to make a deal with you. Next okay. year, Ashes, you have to be here for the Ashes. Trust and to me. take your career just one more step, yes. come and co-host with me, will you? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> mate, you're just so speaking my language. That's a deal. Thanks, right, you. Pleasure. Great to see you, mate. You're good to see you, too. <laughs>